Hi everyone! I'm so glad you're watching today. This is our place and this is our time together as God's people. God loves each one of us and invites us to share God's love with everyone we meet. If we're going to do something that can't be done with just one person, we might form a team. What is something that goes better with help? Can you think of something? How about if you have a big puzzle, like a 500 word puzzle? Isn't it easier to have someone to help you to form a team to do the puzzle? Maybe you want to play ball, go outside and play ball and, and form a team. And maybe it's snowing outside and we have a big snowstorm and you could help others to shovel snow. It's always nice to help others and have a team to do something like that, isn't it? And maybe you want to have a, a, a tra pick up trash around your, your neighborhood or your community or in your playground. It's always nice to have others to help you do it. So often when we do things as a team, we are connected together. Today we'll hear about what team Jesus gathered. Now last week, we learned about Jesus being baptized and at the Jordan River by John the Baptist. Now we will be learning how Jesus began, began his ministry. And I'm going to be reading from the Bible, from the book of Matthew, which of course is the first book of the Gospel of the Bible. And it's from chapter 4, and I'm going to start with the 17th verse. And it says, From then on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, of your sins and turn to God for the kingdom of heaven is near. One day as G Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, also called Peter, and Andrew, throwing a net into the water for they fished for a living. They were fishermen. Jesus called out to them, come, Follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nests at once and followed him. A little farther up the shore, he saw two other brothers, James and John, sitting in a boat with their father, Zebedee, repairing their nets. And he called them to them to come too. Come, follow me. They immediately followed him, leaving the boat and their father behind. Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom, and he healed every kind of disease and illness. And of course, the disciples were with him. News about him spread as far as Syria, and people soon began bringing to him all who were sick. And whatever their sickness or disease, or if they were demon-possessed, or epileptic, or any kind of disease, or paralyzed, he healed them. Large crowds followed him wherever he went. People from Galilee, the Ten Towns, Jerusalem, from all over Judea and from the east of the Jordan River. Now in my lovely Bible book, actually the Bible story book, there's a lovely picture here that shows Jesus by, by the Sea of Galilee and, and the fishermen, that, the brothers, Peter, Andrew, James, and John with their fishing nets. Isn't it a pretty picture? wonder what made these fishermen want to follow Jesus. What was it like to be a disciple in those early days? It must have been interesting to hear about Jesus and what he was saying and preaching God's word. When Jesus called Peter, Andrew, those were brothers, and the other brothers, James and John, their, ma their main talent was fishing. But Jesus knew they had other God-given gifts. He knew that as they worked together, 
they would make a difference in the world. Each of us has God-given gifts, talents too, and that we can use them to serve God. What gift do you have that you can help and serve God? Maybe you sing, maybe you are a good leader, maybe you're patient and friendly and you're willing to help others. So there's always things that you can do to be a good, to be a good follower of Jesus and, and show others. Now do you remember, we have talked about this story before, and do you remember this symbol, the fish symbol? And if you were in my class about two years ago, we made this symbol actually in the sandbox. And uh, it, it's kind of easy to do it, but it's a way that Christians in the times of 2,000 years ago, how they were able to be able to know that there were Christians there and not the Roman soldiers, because the Roman soldiers uh, didn't want them to, to worship. But when they found a friend, and what they did, they would just make, make the uh, sign half, that they were walking along the, the sand, along the water. They would make the sign with their foot. And then the other one that would dare would finish the sign and that he knew that that person was also a Christian. Now these Roman, then they would, if they saw some other Roman soldiers coming, they would just kind of quickly, just kind of shoved it away and got, got rid of it so that they would not know that they were Christians. So, but the fish symbol is actually a popular symbol today and it still means that I am a follower of Christ. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, you call to us and ask us to follow you. Teach us to fish for people. Thank you for loving us and help us to show your love to others. Amen. I hope you have a great week. Love yous.